Hey guys, welcome to another video of Fusion Studios. As you already know, Samsung released its latest One UI 6.1 software update. And for the S23 series, we get a lot of AI features that was only available for the S24 series. The size of the update is about 3.1 GB and also it's released on 28th March. To complete the update, it will take about 10 minutes. So let me skip that part and jump directly to the AI features. To show the first feature, let me go on to the Samsung Gallery and select a picture. And after that, when we click the edit icon, you can find this new Galaxy AI icon on the left side. Just click on that. Here at the bottom, we have the option to tilt the photo. So instead of cropping the photo, so instead of cropping the photo, it will generate a transparent background. And after we click the generate button, we get all that gaps filled. We can also view the original picture by tapping and holding the view original icon. Now inside the same option, on the top left corner, we can find a plus icon. When you click on that, we can add anything from the clipboard or we can add something from the gallery. By clicking on Add from Gallery, we can find all the albums and photos. We can select any photo and tap on any subject to automatically detect the subject and after that we can select the Done option to get it as a sticker on the original photo. We have the options to resize the photo or even tilt the photo and after that when we click the Generate option, we can find that it will automatically blend to the original photo. If we try to save this photo, we get two options, keep the current resolution or increase the resolution of the image. I am clicking to increase the resolution. So it is saying that there will be a visible watermark. And as you can see on the bottom left corner of the photo, we can find the Galaxy AI watermark. When we use AI features for a group photo, we can tap on anyone and select that particular person. We have the option to undo or remove that person. If you want to select everyone, just draw around the borders like this. Now as you can see, the whole group will be selected. Now tap and hold on this group and you can find the undo and also the remove button. We can resize just like this and after we click the generate button, it will generate even the legs. We can find a slight distortion in the legs, but even though it's a great thing that it can generate missing parts of the images. If you have a group photo like this and you need to remove specific people, just tap on that people and the AI will automatically detect that person. Now we just need to tap and hold on any of the selection and click the eraser button. Now for your information, object eraser feature is removed and instead we get this AI image generation. This AI eraser is very similar to the object eraser feature. But it's a little bit more convenient because in object eraser, when you remove people from the back, there will be a distortion in the image. But as you can see, but as you can see in this photo, there is no distortion and it's perfectly fine. For the next feature, click the dialer app and go to its settings. Here you can find live translate option. We just need to enable that. And after that, we have two options that is me and other person. We just need to click any of these languages that we need and after that click the OK button and that languages will be downloaded. After that we have two sections like before that is me and other person. And for both these settings we can select any languages that we want and there is an option to mute my voice or the other person's voice. We also have a voice option where we can increase or decrease the speech rate and we can also select any voice styles that we want but currently only one voice style is available. Now I am going to show how it works. When we call someone, we get a call assist button and after selecting that, click the live translate button. Now this page will be opened and here we can select other person's voice and also our voice. When the other person attends the call, we just need to say something in our language. Now as you can see on the screen, the AI will tell the other person that the call is being translated. Here I have selected my language in English and the other person's language in Hindi. Now when I say something in English, the AI will talk to them in Hindi. And when they say something in Hindi, the AI will reply to me in English. We also get this live caption so that we can understand if we are responding perfectly. We can end the call by clicking the end button on the top right corner or we can exit the screen. Now the live translation will be stopped and the call will be recorded again. Because while we are in live translation, the call cannot be recorded. You can also access all the AI features in the phone settings. Just go to the settings, click the advanced features and here you can find a new option called advanced intelligence. Here you can go to any of the AI settings and even enable or disable them. Next is the interpreter settings. Here we can select the language packs for the translation. We can change the voice style by clicking on the voice style and selecting any of the voice we prefer and also we can decrease or increase the speech rate. Here I am also enabling the tap to talk feature. To open interpreter, go to your notification panel and click the interpreter option. This is the home screen for the interpreter app. Here you can find a mic icon where we can use it to tap and talk and also on the left side we can find a speaker option and we can also change the languages as we prefer. This feature helps us to communicate with any person all over the world. On the top we have an option to flip the card so that the other person can read accurately. Now when I say something in English, you can see it's live transcribed here and the other person will hear it in Hindi and also they can read the sentence there. 
Similarly, if the other person says something in Hindi, it will translate and speak to us in English. Now we can select the menu option on the top right and click the recent option. Here we can find all the conversations that were translated recently. We can either copy or hear it in that language. And you must keep in mind that these translations will be discarded after 24 hours. Next feature is inside the Samsung keyboard to show that I am opening the WhatsApp and here you can find a Galaxy AI icon. Here we have spelling and grammar, writing style and chat translation. So when we are writing something on the chat box, click on spelling and grammar so that it will check the sentence and correct for any spelling and grammar. Now we can insert or copy this corrected sentence. Next is the writing style option. So when we click on that, it will analyze our sentence and shows different writing style suggestions. Here we have original, professional, casual, social, polite and emojify. We can copy or even insert any of the styles that we want. To show you an example, I am inserting the Emojify writing style. Next we have the chat translation feature. When we click on that, it will detect all the languages on this chat and we can target select any languages so that it will translate to that specific language. So as you can see, we have the translated chat in Hindi right below the original chat. The next AI feature is inside the Samsung internet browser. When we search something on the browser, we get the Galaxy AI icon here and when we click on that, we get two new options. They are summarize and translate options. When we click on the translate option and select any targeted language, the whole content in the web page will be translated into our targeted language. Next is the summarize option which gives us a summary of the whole web page after detecting all its contents. Here we have the options to copy or even translate the summary. We can also select the summary style between standard or detailed. The next AI features are inside the Samsung notes. Just like we found in the Samsung internet, open any of these notes and click the AI icon below. Here we have auto format, summarize, correct spelling and translate. Inside auto format, we have headers and bulletins, which will detect and convert the notes into headers and bullets. And after converting, we can select from six different styles. Also, we have the options for copying, replacing or even add to notes. Next, we have an option to convert all these notes into meeting notes format. This also have similar features like we saw in headers and bulletins. Next, we have the options for summarize, correct spelling and translate which we have already seen before. Next, we have AA transcribe which is inside the voice recorder app. We just need to go to the app settings and click on the transcribe assist and turn it on. To turn this feature on, first we need to select the summaries option and after that turn on this toggle. Now we can transcribe any of the phone calls or even the voice recordings. We can also select the languages to which we want to transcribe. To use this feature, select any voice recording, click on transcribe and select the language that is used in this recording. Now after analyzing, it will detect different speakers in this recording and separate them according to the time. On the right top side, we have the summary option and when we click on that, it will summarize the whole conversation and it will even show the important keywords right above. This is a great feature to get notes while attending a seminar or lecture. The next feature is inside the gallery app. We can tap and hold any of the subject inside a photo and then drag it into any other photo and after that we can merge these two. It's a shortcut to add stickers to another photo without clicking the edit button. Next we have the circle to search feature. For that tap and hold the home button. Now we just need to circle anything on the screen using our fingers or the S Pen. Now Google Lens will analyze that part and give us the search results. We can even scribble on any of the subjects to search them. But personally, I think this scribble feature is better to use on any of the paragraphs so that it will automatically select that paragraph and we get the options to copy or even translate. We can also find the search result of that paragraph below and when we click on the translate, it will directly go to Google Translate option. There is another feature that no one usually knows, which is we can use the S Pen to write on the text box. Now as you can see, when we write something on the text box, it will convert it into words. There are many people who enjoy writing instead of typing. And I personally think this is a feature dedicated for them. We also have an option to add space, line or even emojis. Now getting back to circle to search feature, we can stroke on any of this line and we can select that particular line. We have copy, translate and search options just like before and we can also zoom in or zoom out like this. Also, instead of circling or scribbling, we just need to tap on any of the subject on the screen and, and it will automatically search that particular subject. Next is the AI generated wallpaper. For that, we just need to tap on the home screen, select wallpaper and style. Now select change wallpapers and select the creative option. Here we have translucent, terrain, night, luminous and mineral options. We can select any of these options above and we can customize them. So when we click on any of these options, we can see a sentence below. And here some of the words can be selected. Now after selecting, we get different options to click on. Here you can select anything according to your preference and after selecting, you can click on the generate button below to generate four different types of wallpapers. 
If you don't like them, you can click on generate again or change your preferences. There is also create something new option below where we can generate wallpapers from 9 different styles. Next we have the instant slow motion feature on the gallery app. Just record a normal video and open it on the gallery app. Here we just need to tap and hold the screen to activate the instant slow motion. So just like this you can view how the instant slow motion works on that particular video. If you want to make it permanent, click on the edit button and after that you can find 4 different options which is to change the speed from 1x, 1x2, 1x4 and 1x8 currently we just watch the slow mo before in 1x4 so to create a super slow mo i am selecting the 1x8 option and dragging the part of the video which we want to make it slow mo so after editing everything we just need to save the video now as you can see when we go to that part of the video it will be in super slow motion now if we want to make the slow motion even more deeper just do the process again but to do that the video must be a saved copy of the original one next feature is an option to create sticker style just like in iphones just tap and hold on any of the subject on a photo in the gallery app now select save as sticker option now as you can see before saving it will ask us to select the sticker style we have original outline cutout vintage and cartoon options after selecting our preferred style select the done option now when we go to the sticker tab when we tap and hold on any of the sticker we can delete them or even we have the option to edit them when we click on the edit option it will go directly to the sticker style option and we can change the style now i will show you the options to select the frame and stickers when we are setting a wallpaper for that select a photo from the gallery go to the menu and click on set as wallpaper now at the bottom we can find frames and effects when we click on the frame option we can change the frame of the photo like this that we have selected for the wallpaper we can select from any of the different frames that we want and we have also the color option to change the color of the background now if we click erase background it will remove the background of the subject and now we have the option to change from different dual color tones now when we go to the effect tab first we have the original photo now when we swipe from right to left we can change from 8 different effects first we have the background blur feature and after that we have the grayscale feature which turn everything black and white the next option changes only the background color into black and white next we have an option to change the background into any colors that we want we even have an option to custom select any color from the color palette next we have ink pastel and oil paint effects that are only applied to the background of the subject now moving on to the next feature go to the lock screen now tap and hold and open the lock here we can find a new option to add widgets on the lock screen we can select from any widget we want from this list and after clicking them it will automatically add to the lock screen we can only add up to a maximum of three widgets after that it will show widget area full now moving on to the next feature tap and hold the home screen go to the widgets tab and here you can find modes and routines option you can click and add any of the modes and routines widget that you want and using that widget you can easily switch between different modes the next feature is dedicated to people who have less visibility for that go to settings click on accessibility and here you can see vision enhancement inside that you can find relumino outline and by enabling that it will give an outline for all the image and text here you have an option to increase or decrease the thickness of the outline this is currently in adaptive mode you can change from black white or even green and as you can see the color of the outline will change accordingly after the latest one ui 6.1 update when you are on a video call go to the notification panel and here you can find video call effects when you click on that you get a shortcut to directly change all the video call effects that you want and similarly right beside the video call effects we have mic mode here just like the feature on the iphones we can change the mic mode from standard voice focus and even full spectrum these features are not limited to video calls but it's also available on any of the normal calls here you can clearly see the mic mode option and we can change from standard or voice focus now to show you the next feature i am opening multiple apps in the pop-up view here i have minimized the pop-up view for play store voice recorder and the calculator now as you can see the minimized apps will be grouped together and you can click to expand the view and open any particular apps we also have a new option which will open all the minimized apps simultaneously into pop-up view if you want to close all of them just click on the x button here after the new update when you open the keyboard the voice typing option is moved to the left bottom corner but currently when you use voice typing it will not cover the whole keyboard instead while you are voice typing the keyboard will stay open and you can type anything while you are still on voice typing finally i will show you the colorize feature in the gallery app here you can see a photo i have created a copy of this photo and turn it into black and white now i am going to show this new feature and compare it with the original when you swipe up on any black and white photo you can see colorize option when you click on that it will add color to that photo now i am going to save this colorized photo and compare it with the original when we compare this photo to the original the face and the shirt color are exactly the same 
and the sky and the statue color are a little bit saturated. The only change can be found on the ground color. So these are some of the most useful changes happened after the One UI 6.1 update in my S23 Ultra. To get more latest updates, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any doubts, comment in the comment section below. You must also share this video to all your friends who are using S23 series.